what up this is XL or known as bonsai and man I'm just using the zero shiki and it's pure evil and god damn this thing is godly it is absolutely devastating if you ignore this mobile suit the whole team can just literally fall down the whole enemy team I've just seen teams just get absolutely demolished by this mobile suit I use other mobile suits but not like this mobile suit and <laughs> it is a wild thing you know you ever read that book where the wild things are this is one of one of those wild things and to be honest I never even thought one of these mobile suits even existed in the whole thing and I was like man oh man to put this in perspective this mobile suit can fight Asmers, Mark II's, DJ's and man oh man it can fight every single mobile suit in the game it doesn't have a problem at all you know it just it just spanks in all sorts of angles and I swear to god man this makes my mind just go bling bling throughout the whole time I just gave this a gold little finish because you know gotta slap that gold finish but man oh man this thing is what a Hyaku Shiki should have been and it does work it does trabajo man it, it's <laughs> man oh man the speed the boost the technique you can use in this mobile suit is oh my god for days and what I mean for days you know people just have to stand back you you cannot fight this mobile suit you can but you are asking for a fight that you might not be able to win because I'm gonna tell you this if you really want to use this mobile suit you really really want to use this to like the most fullest of the most fullest devastating potential where you can just stare at your enemies with a little smug smirk in your face this is the mobile suit and you first of all to make this mobile suit work you have to practice Hyaku Shiki first use the Hyaku Shiki first and do whatever you can to master it and then jump to using this mobile suit and I guarantee you will see the results and when I mean see the results you're just so used to using a, a goddamn freaking raid and this thing is absolutely similar to a goddamn Yakushiki just this mobile suit has so many and so many so many freaking benefits man this is the king of goddamn monopoly in this freaking game man the only mobile suit that it has a weakness is it would be a zeta if you ever 1v1 a zeta with this you are going to get really sweaty and you have to work really hard to get that devastating finish and that devastating oh yeah that was satisfying type of finish and man oh man this thing has got some speed and the reason why I say this thing is amazing this is zero shiki this thing is a zero hero man oh man it just took everybody by surprise took everybody storm and this thing is just storming the lobbies like non-stop and I see a lot of players <laughs> trying to commit and trying to do a gold finish onto this mobile suit and I swear to god that's a false pretext and right at this moment I was able to just get into com like conversations with these guys I literally hit both of them and the melee on this is ridiculous. I feel like I'm hitting four times. 
with the freaking melee. And it's a wild look at that. I can fight a Zeta, like come on. That's really cool. And the thing I love about this mobile suit is the beam gun. The beam gun has six shots. And if you multiply six times a thousand two hundred, that would be seven thousand two hundred damage if you consecutively attack non-stop. And look at this. I am taking down Zongs with this thing. Well I had my team were like teammates help right there but throughout all the matches that I've had with this mobile suit I've had like second third place a lot of first places I'm gonna say that this mobile suit can fight Zongs flawlessly and boy oh boy this thing's got some crazy stats you know what I mean like it's got double freaking what you call tackles just like the Rick Diaz it's got the beam gun that the Alex has and it's got the maneuverability of a Hyakushiki it's like three mobile suits in one it's like oh, oh my god this is a dream come true mobile suit and man oh man this thing makes my nipples real hard and it's it gives me the very good space vibes that's a really cool thing about this mobile suit is just when you get in there you don't have to worry about your HP anymore because you could do all sorts of ridiculous things with this thing and I'm going after this guy right here and yeah this thing has a hard time finding supports, but what this mobile suit has is skill, and it just outskills every single support in this game. If you get close to the support with this mobile suit, the supports have no option but to just spam all the beams as much as they can because they have to catch this like in a stagger mode because if don't if they don't catch this freaking mobile suit and stagger oh man they're in a whole world of pain man <laughs> wrong you know man they're feisty and that support did not see that coming at all and this one did not see that coming at all either and look at the maneuver, like I was able to finish off two supports in low HP right there. Even if they were in full HP, I would have been able to handle that whole situation. And I'm going after a Zong. You must be crazy to go against a freaking Zong in this goddamn freaking mobile suit. This mobile suit, you first have to freaking practice the Yakushiki. If you don't practice the Yakushiki, you're gonna literally struggle in using this mobile suit. You know, I know you can like literally go like just straight out full in, full in raw with this mobile suit, just don't even practice Yaku Shiki. I would say using this by learning how to use the Yaku Shiki, man oh man, you will see a ginormous difference. And at this point, you know. I was trying to do everything I can to hold the team and I did a pretty damn good result and I believe that was my very first game and I was really really surprised. I was really surprised at how agile and effective this mobile suit is. To put this into another perspective, how good is this mobile suit? Alright, I'm going to tell you, you can make this into a really really dang HP build. You can make this into a goddamn freaking beam build. You can make this into an anti melee build. And look at this GPO too, man. He does not stand a chance against this thing. 
and I did like this heavy drift to the wall backwards so I could have my whole right side covered and man oh man I really hate finding those GPO4s those things are absolutely dangerous it kind of pulls my hair like a wild man I was able to graze that man another build you can also do is just straight out melee on this build and uh, what should we call it? Adding a, a what you call it? Oh, what's the goddamn freaking word? The goddamn freaking range boost build. It wouldn't work with this mole suit because it doesn't have enough range boost to support it. But the beam gun is what it's really capable of. You know, you can do the charge is so quick look at the charge on this look at how quick the charge is that's ridiculous and then like when you're up against the goddamn gpo 2s and i just realized it you can literally shoot their shield three times and they become staggered you know like what's the whole point of trying to maneuver around the goddamn freaking gpo too, if you could just literally shoot the shield three times and just get closer to the combat. This mobile suit is ridiculous. It's got 20% more boost to jump. It's got 15% backbinders just like the other Hyakushiki. It's got some crazy freaking like emergency evasions like it's got everything look at the melee man that is freaking wild and the best part is that it's a general and imagine if this mole suit was a raid it would have been just like the Hyakushiki but since this is a general they all the opponents do less freaking damage and another crazy thing about the goddamn freaking beam gun is that you you can consecutively shoot the opponent in the floor six times in a row. Rapid fire. Like, come on. <laughs> if that is not good enough, I'm going to tell you another thing. The HP build, you can make it to a point that it's like a Zong HP where it's 20 freaking thousand HP even more and oh my god this mobile suit is so overpowered it is one of the most overpowered generals in the game literally in the game and I'm not even the best player using this mobile suit and I imagine if the best player uses this goddamn freaking mobile suit he, he would be able to play this mobile suit with his eyes closed blindfolded how easy this mobile suit is well it's not easy you have to sweat a little bit and you have to sweat a little bit you know but man oh man when this thing goes up against Yakushiki <laughs> Yakushiki does not even stand a chance if you're doing a 1v1 against Yakushiki this thing is gonna destroy it it's, it's just sad and all the raids, mm, man, I have no clue how many times I've been able to kill Gabara Tetris with this mobile suit. Cause man, the beams are just like ridiculous. It's freaking fan freaking fantastic. And there's a GPO right here trying to go after me. And you see what I mean? It's got crazy reach. You know, this mobile suit, this is a master ace. Like, God, if you throw this in ace matches, this thing can work. If you throw this in the ground, I haven't been able to get ground matches because the goddamn freaking game haven't... The goddamn freaking lobbies haven't made 600 freaking matches in this mobile suit. But I've been able to play ground matches with this. And it even... Oh my God round matches it even destroys oh my god I just don't I just don't know why they even added this mobile suit in this game 
They should have never done that. But, you know, this mole suit, the only flaw this mole suit has is it doesn't have the maneuver armor of the Yakushiki. But out of all the goddamn plus sides on this mole suit, you don't even have to worry about the maneuver armor. That's how good this thing is. Oh man, dude. And if you're the monkey in the middle in this mole suit, this thing can fight out of the freaking middle. It is dangerous. And there's this other guy right here. He completely colored his mobile suit gold. His Zero Shiki. And I was like, no, -uh, man. That is not the golden way. But, boy oh boy, this thing can hold an enemy team. Like, you can literally hold a corner with this thing and yeah they don't even see it coming at all and the best part of this mobile suit is the speed I don't have to worry about my boost at all and another crazy thing is that the reach of this mobile suit is really good it's got larger reach than a goddamn freaking Shiki Right over here, I was able to get that GPO4 by surprise. And I was like, oh man, this guy right here, he just needs one shot, he's finished. Yeah, one shot. The 550 variant, pretty good too. 550, 600. Good thing I got the 600 because, man oh man, I love the little extra little buffs. When you get a mobile suit that's just a little leveled up, it's freaking perfect. Right there I was able to stop that man from getting the the attack from behind him. When you're in the front lines, you do not have to worry about your opponents all just blasting you in the same time. A lot of the opponents here, when they see this mobile suit, they be shooting like they be a bunch of stormtroopers. And as you can see, all the opponents, if you look at them, the map, they have all their triangles just madly directed on them. Which is understandable. But this mobile suit, you basically have to stagger your opponent first and then go in for the melee. Once you go in for the melee, that's when things get really nice. If you want to give it a little nice, a little solid attack with a little bulkings, you can go for it. I'm gonna say the Vulcans in this mobile suit doesn't feel as weak sauce as the goddamn freaking Bianca Shiki. That is a fact. Right over here I was able to take this Zeta right behind. Surprise attacking. And I was able to Splat some Spider-Man juice on him. Because why not? And another cool thing about this mobile suit is that it's got some new moves that I've never seen before. Meaning the melee. So the melee, you can literally cancel right in between. You can literally do uh, a light swing and then you can jump out of the heavy swing quick enough. And it's so satisfying. Like, it's so quick enough that you barely tap the enemy with the beam saber on low HP, and then you just jump out of the situation like nothing ever happened. And then they be looking around. Really lost.
lost and confused. And at this moment, it's just like, who the heck brought Bruce Lee into this fight? This thing fights raids. The raids. Gets him really annihilated. Now, what this mobile suit is really good and it's really capable is fighting Mark II's. When this mobile suit fights Mark II's, the Mark II's can either, you know, they can literally shoot you once. And once they shoot you once, they don't have enough time to get out of the next situation with this boss. Look at that reach, man. I literally side, side freaking whip this man with this freaking melee. And I didn't do the melee frontally. And yeah, Mark II, they are going to need to literally dodge all six shots of this mobile suit. And if you are spot on with this, boy oh boy, this thing is absolutely devastating. And if you give this mobile suit to a high tier player, they would probably abuse this thing. Abuse it even more than the Mark II. And look how slick that is. Like, I can literally do a finisher with the goddamn freaking beam. I can go heavy and then I can go light beam. And man, that is unfair. This is a unfair mobile suit. Oh man. That full armor gun, you know, even not all those shields could even save his butt. And at this point, I was just like, God damn it, I'm an ace again? And that's crazy, thing. like, look at that damage. I took, like, almost half his HP. And he was literally a goddamn freaking support. So imagine me using this six shots onto a goddamn bloody, like, raid. The raid HP would be like... <laughs> 75% and it would only be left with 25% health and man this scene is so broken but it's a good type of broken and I know for a fact later on someone's gonna be like oh they were they're gonna really need to nerf this mobile suit because it's too freaking good but a uh, that's how it is. But, man, the beams on this makes a difference. I feel like the beam gun on this is so much more better than the beam gun on the Hyaku Shiki. It's just like a good old fashioned slap at the very top of your mobile suits. And at this moment, I I totally forgot I was the eighth, and I kept on pushing forward, and I pushed too much forward, and I absolutely did this wrong. And I was like, oh shit! And at this point, I fully I lost. Like I feel like the whole team lost because of me, because I was just a little bit too aggressive. I just wanted to come in and save my teammates because I'm always trying to save the teammates but I was kind of foolish at that specific moment we could have saved the game but that just shows you know, the greed got the best of me. But man oh man, when this thing tries to approach an opponent, it can, what's the word? 
it can rush for days. It can rush so fast in the blink of an eye. And I swear to God, when you blink, the game is over. Like, I remember there was this game I had with this mobile suit. And, oh my god. I believe the game ended, like, in one minute. And I was able to kill two mobile suits. A Hyakushiki. And a goddamn freaking song. And I was like, what? And then the match was over, and we lost. Because all my other teammates just absolutely died. I was like, what? How? And these are 1v1 confrontations. It just shows how devastating this mobile suit can be. And I wasn't even using this mobile suit to its fullest capabilities. And if you want a mobile suit that sabotages, this thing can sabotage the whole enemy's team. It does everything. And when I mean everything, you know, it can be Beethoven, it can be Mozart, it can be all these famous old composers all in the same time. Very nice instrumental mobile suits. It's got all the instruments of kicking ass. And I swear to God. These DJs, I had to stay away from these things. They are absolutely devastating in close range, and what you have to do is try to keep away from these mobile suits. This mobile suit that I'm using, it's really badass when you're using it for defensive purposes or offensive purposes. It can do both worlds, and it does it really good. Right here, I jumped forward. I pretended I was going to attack, but I did not attack. And I was able to finish this man. That was a false reaction for him. He wasn't prepared for that. But at this point, I was like, okay, well, you know, I really want to get myself recharged up. I gotta put the toppings on the pizza to get this thing ready. But right here, he was able to slither a nice shot on me, which surprised me. I was like, oh shit, you know. <laughs> that was a surprise. And at this moment, I notice that he's a leg guy, so he tends to shoot at the legs. So I'm going to take his capabilities away and shoot him whatever I want. This mobile suit, oh my god, the beam on this thing is slippery as heck. No matter how fast you are, you cannot run away from these beams. And as you can see, like I learned a new technique in dodging beams. It's a possibility. Right there, I'm actually pretty surprised that wasn't able to stagger him. I was supposed to get like that third shot staggered, but apparently did not look the way it's supposed to. And this man was able to dodge away perfectly. And my legs were pretty unbusted. And right here, I should have tackled him when I had a chance that I shot at him. I don't know why, but it was kind of foolish for me. I would have got that engagement right. Would have been right on track, but I was... I was kind of kicking back. And at this moment, I just didn't realize he was using a 550 version of it. And I have a 600 version of this Zero Shiki. using this mobile suit. I don't know why it's called Zero Shiki. And I kind of messed up right there. I was like, well, shit, oh crap. I was hoping to just pop a 
shot on him, but he was able to stop me, stop me on the track. Which is one hell of a way to do it. And I just got the good old fashioned finisher with the machine guns. You could not run the machine guns. Boy oh boy, I just feel like this mobile suit is pretty damn wide enough to literally get shots right through your mobile suit. The other benefit of using the Yankushiki is that it's capable of, what's, what's the word, capable of making the opponent miss the shots because the legs are just too freaking wide. And I kind of tricked this opponent. I wanted them to come up here. I learned this whole little section over here and I just took advantage because no one ever does. And he wasn't used to it. And at this moment I was actually surprised that he was able to do that. And he was able to graze me. And if he had one more second he would have been able to finish me. But this man is capable of kicking ass. I gotta say, the DJ guy, he knew how to fight. He fought defensively and offensively. I fought defensively and offensively. But every single move that I saw that he was using, it was just a bunch of typical moves that I've seen so many times over and over again. It was an alright fight. But this fight right here was a ridiculously troll fight which was a player who was trying to troll me but it didn't go the troll way he wanted it to go this player is an A plus player but he's pretending to be a D minus player and I can sense it I can sense the, the presence of betrayal now this man up here, he was able to graze me by my wings. I call him the, the wings or gliders. At that point, I wasn't sure if I wanted to jump up there. Because if I jumped up there, I would have not had any boost to do anything. So I was hoping to get him in a really good opportunity. And right here, what really surprised me is that he was able to raise me through the air with his sword. I'm like, how? How did he do that? And I was trying to do a really nice technique, but he kind of ruined it on that specific moment. And at this point, I'm just like, yeah, this guy, he is pretending to be a D minus, but he is up there. And he's got some really nice skill. But at this moment, I'm just trying to get around him, but I cannot. But at this point, I'm just like, oh yeah, that's right, I can shoot the goddamn freaking shield. That's what makes this thing freaking absolutely devastating against freaking mobile suits like the GPO2. This thing, like, oh god, it makes them freaking numb, like it numbs these freaking mobile suits. Just shooting the goddamn shield makes it a whole difference. You see, that just gives him a really heavy stagger, but I didn't take the opportunity to like get some nice distance on him. Because trying to get distance on GPO2s are just it's pretty damn imaginative. You have to think really flawless in trying to get these guys off the center and off track. And at this moment, I'm just like, I'm not going to play around with this guy. This man, he is pretending that he is something. And right there, like I said, the shield. Now, you tell me, is this mobile suit broken? Yes, it's absolutely broken. You know, like, if you got a mobile suit that just single shots on a 
freaking shield on a G302. Really hard. Really rare occasions. You know, you can't do that with a GPO one where you shoot your beam onto the GPO shield and just completely sire it. And no. Uh, when you have this thing, you can consecutively shoot fast. Faster than a goddamn freaking cobra in the wild west. This is the black mamas of the black mambas. And look at that. That is insane. I was able to stagger this man. And at this point, I'm just like, oh yeah, I gotta stay away from those Vulcans. Because Vulcans are not so pretty. You see, he is a high tier player. Throughout all these moments, he would have been able to get me, but I'm just playing my game with him. You know, even if he has a big shield, it just wouldn't make a difference. Right here, he kind of boosted. And I was supposed to get him by surprise, but I guess the backlash of my damn freaking beam was able to do the work. And I kind of did a really nice skip right there. Which is pretty effective in certain moments. And that's the crazy thing about this mobile suit. You can boost twice, and I still had more boosts to get him off track. And using the boost on this mobile suit is so goddamn conservative. conservative. Another thing that's really badass about this mobile suit is the freaking flight. Like, yo, you can fly with this mobile suit. You can do fly combat. Like, you can literally jump in the air and you can shoot someone. And you can fly towards them and attack them. But it's really hard when you're trying to do this against like high tier players because high tier players they obviously know. But when it's a low tier player, you can do all sorts of moves. Now at this point, I'm just like, well, he's finished. <laughs> point I'm just like yeah this thing's a heavy kick but when you're going up against a Zeta it is very very hard a 1v1 situation with a Zeta I believe the Zeta would take it hands down but you know you can destroy a Zeta with this mobile suit it's capable of you can beat a Zeta with this mobile suit but being a Zeta with this mobile suit takes a lot of skill and a lot of work to completely defeat it. Uh, Zeta's weakness would actually have to be this mobile suit. Since this thing is just kicking around and doing some crazy stuff, it does things. And as I can see, this guy was pretending that he was a player that he wasn't supposed to be. But oh well. And I believe in this next match, I got second place, something like that. And the problem about this mode is that people just tend to die really, really quick. And if I was able to shoot that Gabara Tetra right in the open, all my teammates would have been able to make this man stagger real fast. to this GPO4 but man they gotta keep a distance with these things you gotta get really close encounters you gotta show them the true alien space noid race I 
don't understand why this mole was colored red. It was kind of making it look like Chalazma. But I really didn't enjoy the color red. So I had to color it my sort of color. So I didn't, I didn't enjoy that. And I gotta give props for that G Hero 4. He did some nice work. He did what he was supposed to do. Hunt down Jack. Those GPO-4s, dangerous mole suits, they are the space hunters of space. But another cool thing about this mole suit, a, a GPO-4 and the beam on this mole suit, I feel like they're both similar because we would actually shoot back and forth with this, like, beams. And that's really cool. And at that point, he kind of maneuvered slightly to leave the right. I was supposed to get him. And that Gabera, you know, I was trying to get him off track. I was a small fat man. some nice finishers. Capable of doing all sorts of ways. And at that point, I was able to even the odds slightly, which was good news for our team. I was hoping the Reach would get this map, but I was foolish. But I got speed on my side. And man oh man, the beam in this has crazy kick. Kick some ass. And at this moment I was trying to get involved with this Mark 3 I believe. Those Mark III's don't even stand a chance against this mobile suit. And at this point I'm just like, oh crap, the GPO 4 is after me. He wants me dead. And someone shot me right in my bum. Ah, the Cabera, you will twerp. I'll take it. You know, this mobile suit, Zero Shiki, it's a dream suit. If you ever pull, like if you ever are a noob, and you pull the Yaku Shiki and the Zero Shiki, like in a 10 times pull, oh man, that guy did a really cool finisher. Why don't I give him props? Solid snake. Good finisher. GG. You start off with those two mobile suits at the very beginning. I don't give this mobile suit 10 out of 10. I give this mobile suit 11 out of 10. But when you're fighting a Zadia, it's like 10 out of 10.